So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this simple OLED display and write some simple code to use it. If you enjoy this type of content, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you can see more content like this. If there's anything I haven't reviewed yet that you wanna see, let me know in the comments. When it comes to displaying information, these OLEDs have been the go-to for many people, including myself. They're extremely cheap, they work on low power, and they're very nice and small, but they have a really high resolution. This one right here is 0.96 inches from corner to corner, but it has a resolution of 128 times 64. It might not seem like a lot, but when you're displaying a 240p video on your computer, it's stretched usually to like 13 inches. Now imagine if you had that resolution at something like this size. It looks a lot clearer because the pixels are a lot smaller and a lot more squished in. When it comes to options of sizes, there's really not many. There's the 0.961 that we have here. There's a 0.91 that's a more rectangle, and then there's a 1.5 that's really expensive and not much bigger than the one I'm holding in my hands. I think this has something to do with most of these displays being used in cheap electronics like vape pens. They don't really need large displays, so they don't really make them for any other reason, and I'm pretty sure this is the same one that they use in vape pens. They're just like reapplying it to a board and then now you have a little educational tool or a screen for your project. I'm pretty sure they come from the same manufacturer. The nice thing about these is they're extremely simple when it comes to the code and the build. There's the display sandwiched on top of a board with four pins at the top and that's it. You even got four holes to bolt to whatever you want. Like for example, this is one I used back in the day where we 3D printed a case for it. The four pins at the top have four different labels that there's no way you'll see on camera. So I'll put a picture up on the screen. You have VCC, which goes to your five volt port on your board your GND, which is ground, it goes to the ground port. You have SLA and SDA, which go to those uh, respective pins on whatever board you're using. I'm using an Arduino Uno, which has two dedicated pins, SCL and SDA. And I think if you don't have SCL and SDA pins, you can also do, I think it's A4 and A5. I have to check that. But whatever board you're using, just look up their pinout and see which ones have SDA and SCL written next to them. And plug it into those. Also, if your OLED display like this one has more than four pins, you may have another model. I think it's the SPI model. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen. Just use the pin out for that one. Once you have it all plugged in, let's go to the editor and start with the code. So with these type of OLED boards, we can actually use libraries of pre-written code to make our lives even easier. And Adafruit has done that for us. So I'm just gonna go over here to the library manager and in there, I'm going to search a couple different libraries. The first one we need is SSD1306. We're looking for the one made by Adafruit. So that's this one right here. And we're going to install that. And then you need to install these two, GFX library and bus.io. If you do have this option come up, just install all. But if not, just go and search those up and install them uh, individually. So here's an example on how to draw a pixel. That's it, just a one dot on the screen. You have to include your libraries. You have to create your display with a couple different details like the height and width. You have to check if it's connected. Open up your serial monitor at this rate. And then down here, we start with the really basic code to put a dot. We do this before we start the program. We have to declare the display. So we're starting with a blank page and then we're gonna add one pixel at 10, 10 on the screen. So 10 to the left and 10 down. And we're gonna make it a white pixel. Not all of these have color, mine does, but I'm gonna make it white. Then anytime you make changes, nothing will happen to the screen until you do display.display .display again. So I can add one pixel here. I can add another pixel at 15, 15, doesn't matter. But it will not happen to the screen until you do display.display. .display. So if you were to, if you were to do this and then delete the bottom one, your screen will only show this one, the one at 1010, and it will never show this one because you never do display.display .display again. You would have to throw that at the end again. Think of it as like a closing argument. You wanna make a change, you wanna put something on the screen, you have to close that argument with display.display. .display. So let's upload that code and I'm gonna move it next to the camera so that you guys could see exactly what I'm talking about. If I could even focus it. There's your two absolute tiny dots we drew some pixels that's cool but let's get let's get into something a little bit more complicated so we did pixels now let's do this script what i changed was i added a double loop for drawing a pixel every time it loops it's going to be drawing a new pixel in a new location now i'm going to put the delay a bit lower just for the sake of the video but you can play with that as long as you want so it's going to put a pixel in zero zero 
Then it's going to loop again and it's going to put a pixel in 0, 1 and it's going to keep going, keep going until it hits 64 on this row and then it's going to go into 2 and then it's going to go into 3, into 4, into 5. So it's going to print top to bottom over and over and over going from left to right of the screen. There we go. You can see our little line there and it's just printing one next to another and it's going to keep going. Oh, a little bit of a glitch. I'm sure it's really hard to see on camera, but the line is slowly thickening. All right, so we drew a pixel, we animated a line. Let's move on to text. For text, you have to follow a couple different steps. First, you have to choose the text size, then your text color, then your cursor. So that's what pixel you're starting to write on. So if you were to do 0, 0, it's going to start in the top left corner of the OLED display. And then you have to write your text. So we're going to do hello world, the typical uh, programmer sentence. I'm going to upload that to the board. And then once again, just wait for it to update. Boom, there you go. Hello world. You can see it's small, but if we up that text size from one to whatever number you'd like, it's going to get a lot bigger and start to run off screen. All right, so we did pixel, we did animated pixels, we did text. Let's go and finish this off with two different things. First, we're going to do a shape. So we'll just go and grab a rectangle. When it comes to drawing shapes like a rectangle, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. You're really placing a bunch of pixels together to make a line and then you're doing that in four different directions to make the rectangle. I have a function here I put up on the screen. It's going to make us a rectangle at every single size starting by the, the biggest that can fit and then going down to the smallest that can fit. So I'll just uh, bring it up to the camera here. It starts with the biggest rectangle and then goes down to the smallest one available. It then stops when no more can fit. And as you can barely tell, that's enough to fit one row of pixels, which will not make a rectangle. Now let's do what everyone clicked on this video for, to put a picture up on this OLED display. To do that, we're going to need to use this piece of code that I'm going to link in the description. So copy and paste it over to your project and then follow the steps with me. The first step you're going to have to follow is find a picture that you want to put on this OLED display. Then take that picture to the website that I linked in the description and turn it from a picture to a big piece of code. What that piece of code is going to look like is something like this. So I'm just going to copy paste the old one and put mine over it. This is every single pixel in the display and what color it should be. And if you scroll around, you can see that some of them change color to white, some of them change color to black. Once you do that, you can call this picture over into your display and actually print it out. So I'm going to go down here and use the display.bitmap 00, 00 picture width and height and then white. I'm going to just click over on the upload button and check that out. All right, well, that's it for the OLED display for the Arduino. If you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to know, something I screwed up, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them right away.